Hey everyone, it's Jennifer. Um, today is June 26, 2014. Um, you probably don't care that I look like hell, but I have to look at these videos. <laughs> and um, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm just, it's been a long day. It's been a rough evening. Um, done a lot of reflection on the weight loss surgery that I'm about to have. So um, let me just kind of start there. Um, my last video, I was talking about how I wanted to approach my um, weight issues that I'm having. Um, I had gastric bypass on March 5th, 2012. I maintained for over a year at 210, about 210, 212. And in the past six months or so, I've gained 12 pounds, which doesn't seem like a lot, but when you've been morbidly obese and then you have the surgery and you're maintaining for a certain amount of time and then you suddenly gain a massive amount of weight, which is 12 pounds in six months. Um, actually, it was like 12 pounds and actually, honestly, it was like 15 pounds in about three months. And I have somehow kind of plateaued back to where it's only a 10 pound gain. Um, but it freaked me out. And so... I decided in my last video that I was going to take like a bilateral approach and I was going to go see a therapist who specialized in eating disorders and food addiction. And at the same time, I was going to look into having a revision surgery. Um, and I found out that, I don't know if I found this out in my last video or not, but let me just kind of go over the highlights. Um, I found out, I had my um, endoscope done about a month ago and they determined that my stomach is still the same size as it was when I had surgery, but that my stoma, which is the opening from um, my stomach, it's the opening from the stomach to the intestines, that it is two and a half times bigger than it should be, which I think I did cover this in my last video. So uh, the lap band surgery, the lap band revision that I was going to have done really would have been pointless because the lap band really only helps with the stomach. So if my stomach had enlarged or stretched, then the lap band would have been appropriate. But it being the stoma, the only thing that, uh, the only revision that was possible was the gastric bypass revision. And everybody kept telling me um, at the surgery center that a gastric bypass revision isn't covered under Medicare, which is the insurance I have. Um, but I did some research and I called Medicare myself and found out within five minutes that it is covered. Um, so I immediately called the surgery center, and long story short, I got approved for surgery within, like, four, 24 hours. Um, so I'm having the gastric bypass revision. Um, I had my pre-admissions testing last week, and my surgery is scheduled for Monday, June 30th. Um, I had to pay, my deductible for my insurance is $1,217, so 1217 the day of my pre admissions testing, I had to give $600, um, which is a lot of money. And after I did the pre admissions testing over the weekend here, I started thinking, oh, I could really use that money. And you know, I'm going to Texas for like nine days the week of my birthday, which is in September. I booked the hotels. The hotels are paid for, but I still need like $1,500 for the rest of this trip for gas and food and just, you know, enjoyable things that I want to do while I'm there. And Noah's going with me, so, um, you know, he might contribute some money, but typically I'm, I don't want to make him sound like a loser. <laughs> He's helping with some of it, but this is my trip. It was my idea. I invited him to come along with me um, because I know he's always wanted to go. So I'm covering a majority of the expenses, and I, I'm low income, um, so I really can't afford... Um, a whole lot of things. So I thought, well, maybe I'll just use that $600 towards my trip, but I don't really need surgery. What is it going to do? It's just going to give you my restriction back. So over the weekend, I actually decided that I was going to cancel surgery. Um, I called this past Monday and inquired on how quickly I would get the refund back. And my surgery center is so efficient that within 24 hours, I had two different people calling me. One of them was ready to issue my refund, and the other one was from my sur my surgeon's office asking me why I was canceling. Um, at that point, I hadn't made a firm decision to cancel, um, but I was heavily leaning towards it, and they told me, um, you need to make up 
so they called me Tuesday morning and they said, you need to make up your mind by one o'clock this afternoon, because if you are going to cancel, we have to find somebody else to take your spot. So the pressure was on. And the more I thought about it, the more I realized, you know, it's not really about the money. Um, I'm just terrified. I'm really, really scared. Um, I'm not really so much scared of the surgery itself. It's, it only takes an hour to do, and it's not that big of a deal, really. I mean, in the grand scale of things, compared to the bypass that I had, it's not that big of a deal. They're just tightening the stoma. They're not doing anything else because it's all been done. I mean, how much more of my body can you take? Um, so I'm not really worried about the surgery. It's after the surgery. It's knowing that even with therapy that I've had, I'm not there yet mentally, and I still have um, major food issues, and I'm, I still have an eating disorder, and I'm going to have surgery on Monday and be back on liquids and then pureed and the whole, you know, what we're all used to, back to the basics. I really have to go back to the basics, and I am addicted to sugar. I'm addicted to carbs. I am used to eating a certain way. I never really changed my eating habits after surgery, and I'm terrified of not being in control. I'm really scared about failing, again, because I, I don't necessarily think I failed this time. I think I did the best that I could, and I'm obviously not giving up, or else I wouldn't have revision surgery. I still want to, you know, succeed, and my... Um, idea of what success is, is just having a healthy relationship with food. It's not really a weight or a clothing size. Um, it's just having a healthy relationship with food and I'm not there and I don't know that I'm ready to get there and I'm just really scared that I'm going to mess up. Um, I'm really scared that I'm going to have a lot of anxiety this upcoming week. Um, I'm, I'm just really scared and um, I feel like I'm under a lot more scrutiny this time because, you know, when I first had the surgery, you know, you're scared and you're overwhelmed because of so many changes so fast, but it's an acceptable scared. Everybody's scared after surgery. They don't know what to expect. And it's the first time you're going through it and, you know, you take it day by day and then you've learned through other people that they're scared too. And, you know, you guys kind of come together and that's why a lot of us are, friends on YouTube and friends on Facebook. Um, but this is my second time around and I know how it goes and I know how important it is to follow the food plan. And I also know how horribly off, how horribly unstable my eating habits are and how controlled my every minute of every hour of every day is controlled by food and my eating disorder, and um, I just feel like I'm under a lot more scrutiny this time around. I feel like people are going to be watching what I eat, what I don't eat. Um, I'm afraid of I'm afraid of going from binging to anorexia, and I mean not anorexia, but like I will never be I have to be anorexic, but. Um, of going the opposite direction where I'm not eating at all because I'm too scared to eat. Um, I'm fearful of the judgment that will come if I don't lose weight, um, or worse yet, if I gain weight. I'm fearful of how my body's going to react. I'm fearful. I'm just, I feel so judged all the time. And I feel like I'm going to be even more judged afterwards. And not just by people who are knowing and my family and my friends that I'm having surgery, but people in this community especially. And um, people at work who I work with mostly males. And I hear them talk about females. And I hear how they objectify them. And I don't fit into standard of beauty or sexiness or whatever that they feel women should have. So a lot of times I can just accept myself in the conversation and just do my job and it, just know that that's how they think. I don't agree with it. I think it's sexist and ridiculous, but I don't fit 
and so I can accept myself and I can act like it's not, they're not talking about me, but it still hurts and I, I don't know how many of them know about my surgery to begin with, so I don't know, I don't, I'm a very open person, so I don't have a problem saying, you know, that I'm having this revision, but I'm very hesitant to tell them because of the judgment that I feel they're going to have and the expectation that they're going to have of me after surgery. I am never going to be a model. I am never going to be, you know, wearing a two-piece bathing suit. That's not my goal. It's not my expectation. And I, we all deal with the stereotype of what a person who's had weight loss surgery is supposed to look like. And I don't fit that and I never will. And it's just, even more pressure because round two at surgery, you know, like I'm just really scared and worried about disappointing people, even though I shouldn't really care, but I do. Sorry. I thought somebody was like pounding, but I guess we're just blowing off fireworks like idiots. Um, anyway, but that, my video is long enough. I just want to say that I am having surgery on Monday. I did decide to go ahead and have surgery. This is a long way to get around that, but I did decide to go ahead and have surgery. I'm just really scared. And, you know, I've done all the work. I've done all the, I've read all the self-help books. I have the family support. I have, you know, Noah's support, um, which is important to me. I have all my friends' support. I have the support group and people who have had surgery and, those of you who I'm friends with on Facebook, um, I like sincerely love you all. Um, I have some really good friends who've had surgery and who have, and I have some really, really good friends. Um, and I've, you know, like read all the self-help books. I've been through therapy multiple times. I was seeing a bariatric specialist for a while. I have my surgeon, I have my nutrition, I mean, I have every available um, outlet to dealing with this eating disorder and dealing with these food issues, and I'm not there, and I don't know how to get there. And I know it's one decision at a time, and I know it's all mental, and I know, like, I know why I eat the way I do, I know what I'm trying to gain from it, I know, like, I know all that stuff, I figured all that stuff out, I've done the hard work. And now it's just a matter of putting it to practice, and it's so much harder than just a decision at a time. If it was just a decision at a time, I'd be cool. And it's so much harder than that, and I, um, I've never done it my whole life. I've never done it. And that's what worries me, is I, I got this one last chance. And I just don't want to mess up. I really don't. And I'm really, really tired of this being an issue. And I really want to deal with it and get it over with and make it a part of my past. And it's just not happening. So at any rate, I'm having surgery on Monday. Um, I come home on Tuesday, so I'll make a video sometime next week. I have the week off of work, um, but I only have a week off. I should be fine because um, I have a, a desk job and then I also do real estate. but. I can take a break from those. Um, so that's my update. Thank you for watching. Um, apologize for the tears. I'm a very emotional person, but I'm kind of extremely vulnerable and sensitive lately because the closer I get to surgery, the more freaked out I'm getting. And I don't know why. I don't know why. Anyway, thank you for watching, and I will update with you guys next week and let you know how it went. Um, that's all. Have a good week. Take care of each other. Take care of yourself. And thank you for your support because it really means a lot. All right. Have a good week. Bye.